Uh, hi, I'm Neil, W0VLZ, and I wanted to talk a little bit right now about my setup for Picnic Table QRP. Uh, keep in mind again, this isn't the uh, sort of stuff that you might, uh, all that you might take if you're just, if you're doing a backpacking trip or something like that. This is the sort of things that I pack when I'm going on the road. The most I might have to pack it is a few hundred yards down a trail to find a convenient spot under a tree. But I'm not going for miles for it. I'm not taking it up to the top of a mountain somewhere. But I might be, I might depend on this as my ham station for uh, several weeks. So this is, so this is what I ended up packing. Of course, you got the uh, KX3. Uh, Dental pad for, for, for taking notes, copying CW. This is my antenna arrangement. This is a uh, 58 foot uh, length of wire. 58, let's see if I get untangled here. 58 feet, yeah, here we go. 58 feet happens to be a, a, happens to be a length that is not resonant on any of the hand bands. So it works out well to be able to um, uh, loaded up with the antenna tuner that is in the KX3. If it were an integral multiple of a half wavelength, it gets to be a really high impedance, and it's tough for any any antenna tuner to match up. Uh, I also have a length of wire here that's uh, well, it's approximately I think it's about 32 feet long, and I use it for the uh, for um, for a center poise. And, and, and it just lays on the ground uh, and then of course this is the twine for keeping them both keeping the antenna up in the air this will nicely go over a uh, branch of a tree uh, the wire of course the, the uh, counterpoise this is a lithium uh, iron phosphate battery it's uh, rated at 12.6 volts uh, 6.4 amp hours and it's really light, um, much lighter than the than the equivalent uh, power uh, sealed lead acid battery. So I've been happy with this. Whether I really need it for the sort of operating I do is sort of debatable, but it seemed like a good thing to get. Uh, of course, uh, here is the charger to go with the battery. With these two together, I can actually. Um, you know, this is the equivalent of any uh, nice power supply that you might use with your KX3. Uh, AC cord to go with the charger. Of course, you have the microphone, my paddles. Then you have all the little stuff that you end up packing on. Um, things like, for instance, the, uh, the uh, cord for the battery. Uh, for going over a tree, I have a 10-ounce fishing weight here. Some people talk about just using a battery, or excuse me, just using a rock. I found that this is real handy. It has a nice shape here. Uh, tends to go through the trees just fine with this shape. I have not had trouble with it hanging up. Uh, this blue cord here is a uh, strain relief that I can use. Um, if I uh, loop this around, say, a uh, arm of a chair or... Uh, or a railing or something like this I can then uh, and then I run the antenna wire through here then it forms a strain relief so that I uh, can uh, so I'm not depending on the radio to keep my uh, 58 feet of antenna wire up in the air uh, things like for instance headphones in here this is the uh, antenna connector a compass. When you're running QRP, you want to make sure you don't have a um, hill in between you and where you're trying to work. So I found just having a little compass along comes in handy once in a while. So anyway, oh, down here in the bottom, I also have a couple of cards I made up. Once in a while, when you're out in a picnic space, someone will ask, well, who are you? What are you doing? And it's nice to be able to. Well, let me tell you more about ham radio. Uh, the other thing I've added for the Q for the uh, KX3 
uh, lots of the capability of the KX3 you only experience if you have headphones on. Uh, the the stereo uh, the the stereo effect. So of course what I have here besides the uh, earbuds, I have a Y and a second pair second pair of earbuds here, so that if if, if I want to show off the radio, a second person can plug in. So anyway, that is what I have here for uh, that needs to be packed in the bag. Let's then take a look at how it all packs. Okay, what I found for packing my uh, my uh, picnic table QRP pack in is is I went to my friendly um, uh, Salvation Army store, Goodwill store, and found a Nintendo GameCube bag. And uh, after looking through their backpacks and lunch bags and everything else, this particular bag happens to have about a nine inch wide by nine inch deep by about five inch thick base in here with a little flap here also. So this is the bag that I'll use for my packing the radio in. And what I start with, of course, is my uh, twine here. Put the wire behind it like so. And that sort of takes up the back part of the bag. Then I'm going to lay the uh, battery. Let's see, put the battery in like this. And it sort of lays down there on the bottom of the bag then, just like that, at one end. And what I want to do now is the battery charger, which like I said, you won't need it for lots of routing, but for our purposes today, I wanted to pack it in there because sometimes I'm taking a long trip and I need to have the battery charger along. So it goes on end in that spot. The, the next thing that's, that's needed, of course, is all of the extra little stuff that if you don't have it packed in a box, it'll, it'll, it'll tend to fly all around. And it goes right in on top of the, right in on top of the, um, the uh, battery. And on top of this then is where I put my paddles. Let's get everything sort of, and the paddles will go in here. And then <coughs> something I never had to deal with on the, uh, well, for my K1 has been the microphone. So we'll put it in here also, lay it flat in there, sort of put all the cables in here, like so, and then this flap comes down, lays flat, I have a nice spot here now, and then the KX3 goes right on top, right on top of the bag, and of course it's a padded bag, padded lid, everything is fairly secure, packed in there well, zip it shut, it has this uh, <coughs> pouch here, Nice convenient place to put the steno pad with a few other notes I have in here. Oh, I have in here the uh, sort of like a uh, uh, little U.S. Road Atlas, uh, some uh, some uh, notes about the K uh, KX3, and just in case I ever need it, I have the USB cable for the uh, KX3 also. So, lamp it shut. Fasten it like that, and that is my my uh, travel bag, all packed up. Has everything I need for a uh, picnic table QRP session with my KX3.